Stand out, find your edge. Win at work.by Marcus Buckingham Book Review. Hello everyone, today I am going to review the book, Stand Out. Find your edge. Win at work by Marcus Buckingham. How to accelerate innovation. Early X-ray machines were hard to use because patients didn't stand still long enough for doctors to take quality pictures. We each have specific areas where we consistently stand out, where we can do things, see things, understand things, and learn things better and faster than 10,000 other people can. Ralph Gonzalez's whistle transformed his low-ranking Best Buy store into a top location. He had employees blow whistles when they spotted a co-worker doing something correctly. Soon, to the customer's delight, whistle sounds were everywhere. Unlike Dr. Plummer's simple directive, please hold your breath, the whistle idea didn't work in other Best Buys. Less innovative managers added cumbersome rules and regulations mandating when to whistle, when not to whistle, and so on. One person's innovative idea may not work for someone else. Picture how presidential George W. Bush looked as he stepped onto the aircraft carrier wearing a flight suit. The new standout strengths assessment. Identify the profiles that fit your two strongest points, the ways you can best serve as a contributor and as a multiplier and use them to accomplish your greatest contribution. The nine strength roles are advisor. You're happy when others turn to you for help. You are confident that you always have the right solution. You like to divide challenges into parts and solve the issues one by one. You see yourself as someone your teammates turn to when they are in a jam. To make a strong impression, take your team's most complex challenge and resolve its parts. To get people to pay for your guidance, hang out with professionals and become a credentialed expert. Just don't solve every problem you see. Be a little humble and ask a lot of questions. Led by example and clearly explain your suggestions. As a manager, use your common sense. Encourage workers to take courses and share the information. Tell them to come to you with possible ways to attack problems. Enter sales meetings with several solutions for clients and tell them why your choices are best. Confront client issues directly. Anticipate what they need. If you don't know something, admit it. Use language clients understand. Connector. You inspire other people. You are really good at figuring out who should work together and why they would work well together. You put the right folks together on great teams. Watch for connection opportunities, but ask permission before you connect people. Send a daily email that opens, I thought of you when I read this, then, add a few words on how the recipient might benefit. Go on an annual group trip, a hike or charitable walk, and meet new people. Don't forward mass emails, that's annoying. Don't take it personally if people don't return your calls. You lead because you identified other people's strengths and talents. You attract co-workers' loyalty because they believe you can help them do meaningful things. You are a team builder. You know people and help others appreciate different points of view. Do not compare staffers. Instead, highlight their individual strengths and appreciate their unique abilities. Introduce clients to those who can assist them. Personalize your communications. Remember names. Refer often to past interactions so clients feel important. Creator. Private time helps you create and contemplate how things work but make sure that your people see enough of you. You like concepts and patterns and ideas, but you dislike surprises. Your flashes of insight help you identify better ways to do things. You describe yourself as being good at analyzing what happened and why it happened. It takes time for you to impress people. Don't ask why too often. If people reject your first suggestion, search for another way they could use your idea. Keep up with new trends, research and practices in your field. Devise ways to showcase your talents and to review what you know. Connect with those who have different perspectives, but don't become an idea's sole defender. Others may become impatient, so show them every effort has value even if the end result falters. You consider situations carefully and excel at keeping things simple. Clarify each goal's purpose to those around you. As a manager, Always acknowledge staffers' contributions and problem-solving efforts. Keep your expectations crystal clear and consistent. Invite clients to share their thoughts and take time to understand their needs. 
Trust your own instincts and reach their own conclusions. Analyze what is working as often as you analyze what is not. Impress co-workers with your ideas on how to perform better. Equalizer. You seek balance. You detest it when other people don't come through. You have an active moral compass and like to protect everyone's personal rights. You would describe yourself by saying, I'm totally transparent. What you see with me is what you get. To make a memorable impression, follow through on what you commit to do. Help other people identify the best way to solve their problems. Become a mediator, you would be good at this. Always clarify your definition of fairness to other people. Remember that other people count on you to act correctly in all situations, since you are reliable in an unreliable world. To impress customers, don't disparage your competition. Clients trust you. To keep them loyal, admit when your product or service has missed the mark. Influencer. You lose your patience when the time comes to make decisions. You listen to others to help identify what to do next. You have charisma and can charm people, because you know that people are willing to do more for those they like. You are at the top of your game when trying to encourage people to do something they didn't necessarily intend to do. To impress others, be clear about your plans. Thank those around you. Be inquisitive, but wait for responses. Jot things down during conversations to signal that you value others' thoughts and to help you build relationships. Hone your sense of humor, one of your strengths. People enjoy hearing what you have to say, particularly if you share self-deprecating tales. To build relationships, remember everyone's name. When you sell, stick with a clear message. If you try to woo buyers with too many tactics, you can irritate them. As you influence others, you tend to make errors and create hard feelings. Apologize. Pioneer. What's new? A true optimist, you love new challenges. Glitches don't phase you, they are fun. To describe yourself, you'd say, I'm one of the most resilient people I know. I bounce back fast. To move up, highlight your natural optimism. When others balk at change, help them see new possibilities in a non-threatening way. Ask, if we had already changed it, what would the new way look like? You can provide a safe environment for young individuals to transform their dreams into reality, so be a mentor. You move on quickly when things fail, but other people don't, so give them time to sift and reflect. Don't jump from one idea to the next. You are fine with the unknown, but people will feel unsure if you dismiss their worries by saying, trust me, it'll be great. Infuse your ideas with fun. Provide games or activities at meetings so people attend enthusiastically. Team people with unfamiliar co-workers to develop friendships and cooperation. Tell clients real tales about how past risk-taking has paid off. They need such evidence to feel confident about you. Provider. You care how others feel and want to give them a voice. You bristle when you feel no one listens to you but your ability to listen without judging helps workplace troublemakers drop their guard and become more productive. You believe that others depend on you, and you enjoy that. Use your intuition to assess how team members relate. Your rare gift for keeping secrets may enable you to become an agent of transformation in difficult situations where co-workers distrust one another. However, don't let your own issues build up until you explode. You are politically naive and expect others to be as responsible and inclusive as you are. Before you defend people, confirm their stories. Remember, egotistical people who disappoint you can still have a good side. To lead others and hold their loyalty, adapt to challenges and share success stories. You care about your clients, but don't offer more than you can give or they will exploit you. If something goes awry, don't talk about it, just repair it. Stimulator. You, focus on what is right with people. You may be emotional, but you bring positive energy to every situation. Being with lots of people energizes you, and you describe yourself as fun to be around. To get noticed, offer carefully thought out feedback. Dispel the notion that you give insincere compliments. To move forward, set clear boundaries. You can't lift everyone's spirits all the time, but you can help turn around difficult workers. Search for ways to inspire others effectively. Take some time to recharge your batteries. Don't take problems to heart or fret about others' opinions. 
When you lead, use your sense of humor and make fun of yourself. Don't be a yes man or yes woman. Agree only with ideas you accept and promise only what you can deliver. Encourage your staff to leave the office and visit clients. When you feel positive, your good mood is contagious, but your foul moods spread easily, too. If you have a rough day, take time to regroup. Sell with sincerity. Back up your positive attitude with facts, so others don't dismiss you as overly optimistic. Teacher. You care how well others comprehend issues. You believe everyone is a work in progress. People work better with you, and you give them a chance to learn and grow. You are always looking for how each person's mind works. Enter every situation ready to learn. Listening shows respect, since people are glad when you validate their ideas. During the first days in a new role, share at least one new idea. Offer to tutor your co-workers. Stay in touch with people you have mentored. If you recommend someone, describe his or her value clearly. Don't share your thoughts as soon as you enter a new situation or others will see you the wrong way. Ask your questions, take notes, and soon people will value what you have to say. You are a great leader because you believe everyone can succeed. You try to see things from others' perspectives. The Three Strengths Principles Your individual compilation of strengths gives you innate genius, but just having abilities doesn't mean you know how to employ them. Follow three principles to use your strong suits. Your genius is precise. When you operate in your strength zone, you are outstanding. You can accomplish anything. But step out of that zone and you immediately become average. Don't be afraid to try new areas, but know that your gifts will shine most brightly under certain conditions or in certain roles. When you begin a new position, tap into your strong points to succeed. You can't respect what you don't remember. As long as you are aware of your strong points, you can use them. If your strengths remain lodged in your subconscious, you will not be able to pull from them when you need them. Use your strengths, build them up. You must reach beyond your roles. Those who excel often, push themselves within their strengths zone. Take aways. All companies search for employees with amazing abilities. Personal abilities fall into nine distinct strengths roles. Advisor, connector, creator, equalizer, influencer, pioneer, provider, stimulator, and teacher. You may have difficulty identifying your strong suits because they are so familiar to you. Personal strengths are unique to certain areas. For instance, basketball skills aren't helpful in baseball. Identify your most powerful qualities and hone them to perform at your best. When you begin a new position, exploit your strong points to succeed. To excel, expand your interests within your areas of strength. You offer your workplace full value when you maximize your strengths. People who succeed use their strengths beyond their set roles. Your individual strengths give you innate genius, but just having abilities doesn't mean you know how to employ them. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.